Well, what's going on to all my pimps and model car players out there in YouTube land? Well, this is Fast Jimmy 71 saying what's up again. Well, this is <coughs> going to be a how-to video. Uh, I'm going to show you what you need and uh, how to prepare to uh, cut your front clips, uh, your front ends off your cars, uh, your roofs for those of you who've never done it before um but before i get into the video i had gotten a message well not so much a match not so much a message but a comment on the little red wagon somebody had asked me uh why is it a pickup why is it a pickup on the box but i have a van well to answer your question uh when i bought the kit at the model car show uh, the kit was open and there was a resin body um, what they did was that they they uh, they casted the body in a mold and uh, they turned it into a van they got the components to add on to the existing body and make uh, a mold of a van uh, and Lo and behold, I was the lucky one that actually got my hands on this thing because other people were eyeing this thing when I saw it. Uh, and when the guy had said, you know, the price, I already had it in my hand, so I bought it. So I was lucky to, lucky enough to get this kit. Um, whoever started it, you know, I guess they didn't get very far with it. Um, so I'm going to, you know, do what I, what I do best. And that's, you know, coming up with my own creations. Uh, I don't, I don't mimic other people's cars. I don't, uh, rep uh, I don't replicate, you know, do reproductions or, uh, 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 you know, go buy other cars and stuff like that. I do my own stuff. So everything that you see that I make um, is from my own design, my own design. Um so hopefully you know in, in the near future you know you guys will continue to enjoy the other things that i have in mind uh, i am going to step out step out of my uh my realm of uh comfort and uh i'm gonna try my hand at doing other things um don't know what it is yet but uh I, i'm i'm thinking about you know doing a couple other different projects that's gonna take a lot of scratch building and that's where my talent is gonna really shine and actually pulling that off so uh we'll see in the near future uh okay well let's get on with this video enough of me talking crap <laughs> so i hope guy you know uh to my subscriber i hope that answers your question uh yes it is a pickup truck when you buy it in the store but I didn't buy this in the store. I bought this at a, at a hobby show. And the kit was already open and it had a different body. Fortunately, it had a, it had a van. So that's a plus. Okay. Well, to start this off, I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, show you the, 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 the workings and what you need to do this. Okay. So it's going to be kind of hard for me to cut and stuff. So I'm not going to really do any cutting or anything. But I am going to show you what you need to do, okay, and all the things you need. So here, let me pan off and let me show you what you need. Okay, first you need a ruler, okay, to do all your measuring. Second, you need an X-Acto knife with a very sharp, sharp, brand new blade. And please, please, and I, and I stress this, please, if you are not of age, Get, in, get a grown-up to help you, you know, do the cutting with these kind of tools because these things are very dangerous and very sharp. You can't get hurt if you do not know what you are doing. Um, third, you need a Sharpie marker, uh, prefer preferably a, a uh, thin, thin tip, a uh, very small tip. Uh, uh, um, Sharpie marker, they usually got the really big ones, but I don't care for those. Uh, I like the very fine, fine tip. Uh, you need the glue. You can either use uh, extra thin Tamiya glue 
or you can use uh, the extra thick. It's not really extra thick. It's it's a little thicker than than this. This is watery, and this is uh, this is extra fine, extra thin. It's very watery, uh, and this is very gel-like. You know, uh, they're both good. They're both good for this kind of work. Uh, then you need the masking tape. Okay, very good masking tape. Then you need styrene plastic, styrene sheets. Uh, the styrene sheets that I use for these kind of jobs for uh, for what I do is uh, zero is uh, 0 .030 uh, or it's uh, 0 0.8 millimeter in thickness. Uh, this is good stuff to have. Uh, very very good uh, um, uh, styrene plastic. And then you would then you need you know your 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 subject. But uh, before I get into that the last item on the list and i must stress this the last item on the list for you guys including myself that are of age that wish we were young <laughs> just playing man age is just a number but you know sometimes when you get at a certain age things don't start to go out of whack so to you older guys glasses yes glasses i do use glasses uh but only to to see what i need to do when it comes to putting those little wires and all that little stuff um <laughs> yeah and a sand stick uh what a nice coarse sand stick uh now what you need um first let me see if i can turn this off so you can see what I'm doing here uh, for your rubes okay uh, what I like to do is for any kind of for any of my cars what I usually do is that I mask off um, where I'm gonna cut okay so you would have to measure from the beginning of the post to the back and you know not so much by eyeball but by looking at it you can see how much you want to cut okay uh you're not going to cut it too close to the window because then you're not going to have enough you know i'm gonna i'm gonna say enough plastic enough meat to have so when you go to cut it you know you're going to wind up breaking it in half so you got to give it you got to have enough enough meat on your bone okay so enough plastic on your on your body uh in order to to do this and just in case you need to shave it down a little bit, you can shave it down. But I would suggest to give it enough to have, okay? So like that, you can work it once you cut this roof off, okay? Because remember, this is very flimsy right around the window area once you cut this roof off. Um, so this is like doing a real car, you know? In, in real life on a one one scale what 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 body do what body uh, and fender guys do when they're gonna cut roofs off they they mark these uh, posts off and they tape them up and everything and then they mark them and then that's where they cut where the mark is at you know so that's how that's how they do you know their their chopping of the roofs uh, with the with the posts or they cut the roofs off you know they tape everything off and they mark everything and that's how they do it. So this is how I do it. I do it the same way a body and fender guy would do it. Uh, mask it off. Then you would mark it with your Sharpie marker. And uh, you take your X-Acto knife on the sharp. You, you first score it with your sharp end very slow along the line. Once you score it, okay, that you have that score line, you flip your, ba your blade over. And on the dull side you start to score the plastic and as you're going down the line with your exacto knife on the dull side what you're actually doing is is that you're cutting into the plastic and as you're pulling away okay in a very slow slow motion you're gonna see plastic shavings come along with it that's showing you that you're actually going down you know the plastic and it's getting thinner and thinner and thinner take your time doing this because if you rush into this you will break it or you will scratch you will jump off of your 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 where you're supposed to be going and you're going to wind up messing it up uh also with the back you know you mark it off 
measure it where you're going to more or less cut it uh depending on what kind of car you're going to use this is a 1949 mercury uh this already got a chopped top this doesn't need to be chopped but if you want to cut the roof off you 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 mark it off on the top mark it off on the back post and take your time cutting these off also with your front clips okay you go along the fender lines okay where the fender and the door meet okay usually you know for the mercury you have to run it along the doors okay you have to run it along the door and the fender some cars you don't have to do that some cars you can get away by cutting cutting the the cutting the 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 fender off further away from the door so it has gives you enough meat on this side so you can actually work with it but unfortunately on this card you have to cut all the way towards the beginning where the door and the fender meet on this car um also you mask it off and you draw your line along the the, the joints of the door and the fender you do it on both sides and very slowly you score with your sharp end till you get that till you get you, you get it started then after that you you get that started then you flip your exacto knife around and you use the back end the dull end of your knife and start shaving down until you start to see shavings do this very very slow do not rush into this the slower the better <laughs> you rush you're gonna jack it up so you gotta remember to be very very slow when you're doing this when it comes to your roofs or comes to your front clips then you have to account okay you have to account that once you cut this fender off this front clips gonna come off you have to account you know your fender your 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 your, your firewall your side panels that's where your styrene comes in because then you have to fill in all those gaps so you won't see into the interior so that's where all the measuring with the ruler and the exacto knife and all these things come into play when it's fabricating because you're literally fabricating this you know to make it look the way it's supposed to look or you know make it look decent you know, so it's just not just cutting the, 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 the front clip off and, you know, and that's it. This, if you're going to do a show car, you know, and you want to, you want to, you know, you want to have a, a flip nose, you know, you got to fabricate the firewall, the side walls, and then you're going to mount your, your, your pins and everything to actually make everything flip open and stuff to show the engine. Now, if this is a race car, then you would cut that off you make your firewalls you take your styrene tubing uh i don't have the right size right now to give you the size that you need but you would have to make your style take your styrene tubing to make uh your 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 uh, your uh road cage bars you know your support bars that run into the into the fire the engine compartment you know to support the engine and to give it support and stuff in case of an accident or something you know um but since this isn't a, a, a race car, it's going to be a show car, uh, then it would be just a flip, flip nose, you know, where it wouldn't come all the way off. It would stay in place, but I can just pick it up and tilt it. Um, first, I'm going to show you, for instance, I have, a, I have an example. Uh, it's a car that I did a long time ago. I know you guys got to remember this. You guys got to remember this. Um, it's my tow truck. Uh, this is this was my very first attempt on cutting a roof off. I uh, did a chop top on this car. Uh, you know the back end is from a tow truck. Uh, you know did everything and I did a flip nose front end. So as you can see, I didn't cut. Okay, I didn't cut all the way towards the door. I cut halfway. So you can get away with certain cars 
and you can do that. So fortunately, I can I, I got away with this one. Uh, so I did a flip nose, and it's a flip nose to expose the engine, uh, and everything's all you know the the styrene tubing and the the clear the clips and everything that was put in place and stuff you know it all depends on what kind of car you you're gonna do you know it varies you know not all all the cars are the same every every car is different so you know you have to go about it in 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 different ways you know so uh this is supposed to do a 49 Merc but you're doing a 57 Chevy, the firewall and, and the way the fender and the door meets or whatever, everything's totally different. So, you know, not every car is the same. So you got to take that in consideration that when you start to do these kind of jobs and this kind of customizing, you got to remember that, you know, that's going to come into play. So uh, this, this, is, uh, this is a flip nose. And it goes right back into place. Very nice. Okay. With ease. With ease. Flip nose. Uh, this was uh, something I did a while back. So, um, remember this. Tow truck with the chopped, chopped roof. Um, well, that's it. So, I hope this works out for you guys. You know, sorry I can't, you know, show you in detail how I cut them and stuff, you know, because it's kind of hard when I'm using one hand and one hand to hold the camera. <laughs> I don't have uh, an intro, I don't have a setup like that, you know, with cameras and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard for me uh, to do that. So, um, but soon, you know, when things start to get better for me, you know, I'll, I'll start to invest in stuff like that and make my channel uh, a lot better than what it is now you know i have a lot of things in mind that i want to do but you know things that are holding me back right now but as things get better um i will be doing a lot of changes i do want to do an intro for my for my videos uh, uh i do want to do a, a lot of other things you know for you guys so um in due time we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll move uh, we'll do baby steps right now i'm doing baby steps uh, but, uh, things will get better. Uh, well, I hope this works out for you guys. Um, I hope this works, works out for, for whoever wants to do this, uh, this work here. Uh, it's fun. You're going to love it. You know, always think out of the box, you know, whatever comes to mind, do it. You know, don't hold back. Don't hold back. Just because you're a beginner or you're an advanced modeler. If you're a beginner, look at all these videos, get tips, practice, 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 practice. For you advanced modelers that want to get into this, come on. Throw your feet into the, you know, throw yourself into the water, man. Don't hesitate. This is going to, this is going to, this is going to, you know, turn things around for you. You know, it's going to make your models pop when you do these things. So don't be afraid to do any of this because it's just plastic. It's just plastic. This could be replaced. Okay. So have fun with it because that's what this is all about. Having fun and enjoying yourself. And when you have fun and you enjoy yourself, you turn out with stuff like this. With stuff like that. With that. With that. With that, you know, you, 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 there's so many different things you can do. You know, trust me, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. And just, you know, just do it. Don't, don't hesitate. You know, never, never hesitate on trying something different. Okay. So, like I said, I hope this works out for you guys. Um, any questions, you know, feel free to, to send me a message or whatever. Uh, well, till next time, uh, Fashion Me 71 saying, peace, and you know it, chicken grease, laters.